Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you today from Then Sings My Soul, 150 of the World's Greatest Hymn Stories. This is uh, book number one. Just As I Am, 1836. She was an embittered woman, Clariot Charlotte Elliot of Brighton, England. Her health was broken and her disability had hardened her. If God loved me, she muttered, he would not have treated me this way. Hoping to help her, a Swiss minister, Dr. Cesar Milan, visited the Elliots on May 9, 1822. Over dinner, Charlotte lost her temper and railed against God and family in a violent outburst. Her embarrassed family left the room and Dr. Milan was left alone with her. You are tired of yourself, aren't you? He asked. You are holding to your hate and anger because you have nothing else in the world to cling to. Consequently, you have become sour, bitter, and resentful. What is your cure? Asked Charlotte. The faith you are trying to despise? As they talked, Charlotte softened. If I wanted to become a Christian and to share the peace and joy you possess, she finally asked, what would I do? You would give yourself to God just as you are now, with your fightings and your fears, your hates, your loves, your pride, and your shame. I would come to God just as I am. Is that right? Charlotte did come just as she was, and her heart was changed that day. As time passed, she found and claimed John 6, 37 as a special verse for her. He who comes to me I will by no means cast out. Years later, her brother, Reverend Henry Elliot, was raising funds for a school for the children of poor clergymen. Charlotte wrote a poem, and it was printed and sold across England. The leaflet said, Sold for the benefit of St. Margaret's Hall, Brighton. Him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Underneath was Charlotte's poem which has since become the most famous invitational hymn in history. Charlotte lived to be 82 and wrote about 150 hymns, though she never enjoyed good health. As her loved ones sifted through her papers after her death, they found over a thousand letters that she had kept in which people expressed their gratitude for the way this hymn had touched their lives. Today, with social media, if somebody touches your life in a good or bad way, all you got to do is type something up and let them know. But that woman held on to those letters, and it was that God took her just as she was and changed her. It said that's probably the most popular invitational hymn. I say this every time I hear that song or think of it probably, and, and I've read this before on here, but uh, the Billy Graham crusade, they would use that, and you would see people just flood to that altar. How does he want you just as you are? Will he let you stay that way? No. That's the purpose. Yes, those commercials on television that say Jesus gets us, yes, he does. He gets us, and then he changes us. Because he loves us too much to leave us as he finds us. Notice I didn't say that your preacher changes you, your priest, your nun, your church. No, he changes you. If there has been no change, you've probably not met the master yet. But when you have, he changes you. He saves you. Are you still human? Absolutely. Will you still have faults? Sure you will. But your heart then changes which then works on your mind. It's a growing process. We're saved by grace, but we grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So it's just like a child learning right from wrong, learning things and growing in that. You'll be changed. He takes you just as you are. 
but he doesn't leave you there. Look, my headstock for guitars is always about here, and always you can read what it is. Look at this one today. This is our granddaughter Addie's little Martin. Each one of our grandkids, we got these for them when we moved back from Myrtle Beach, and so today it was in here. I just thought, well, we'll give it a shot, so. She may watch this and get a kick out of it, right? Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, of God I come, I come, just as I am, and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark to thee, whose blood can cleanse each spot, O Lamb of God, I come, I come, just as I am, thou Because thy promise I believe, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us today. Lord, I thank you for taking us just as we are. You do all the cleaning. You do all the work. You paid the whole price. And God, you can make us what you want us to be if we will come just as we are. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day. See you Saturday.